What should be free? You, at 7 p.m. next Friday? Damn, that was smoother than my brain. Smooth. Libraries. Anyone who thinks Netflix for books is a viable business model that could possibly replace the numerous services your local library provides, especially to those people who by definition couldn't afford a subscription model, is exactly the kind of person who could probably benefit by spending more time in a library. Yeah if libraries were proposed today plenty of Americans would be against it. Which is heartbreaking for me because my local library was always such a beloved part of my childhood. Wait, libraries aren't free? The first Super Mario Bros. game. Just have it preloaded on every Nintendo console. How much do they charge for it? Our copyright system is completely broken right now, largely thanks to Disney by my understanding. Emo all games that hold should have been public domain a while ago. The ethnic minorities in China. Censored. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Playing online on consoles. At Nintendo. It's the number one reason I don't play on consoles anymore. Rainwater. This is an excellent start, and about the only reasonable thing we can do about free water right now. You have to pay for it? If you ask me, a single ambulance ride shouldn't cost as much as a Lamborghini. Neither should glasses, insulin or braces. In 2018, I was being treated for cancer. One of the treatments made me extremely sick, I'll spare you the gross details. One evening, a family friend was over. I told my husband that I thought I needed to go to the hospital. The friend said he was going to call an ambulance. In unison, my husband and I said fuck no. I was pretty sure I wasn't dying, so I had my husband take me. It took forever because we had to pull over several times so I could barf outside the car. I mean, cancer is one thing. But I don't want to drown in medical bills. I'm fine now. Water, basic food, shelter and medical care should be free. Free to the individual at the point of service, paid for by society together. And education and you got the perfect answer my friend. Fall in. Cause I'm. Smart ass smile. Hong Kong. Well in that case, Tibet. Both the top answers are things China's oppressing. Zai, what you guys China say? Bird. D? That bitch. I hope you mean the totally real scooters and not those fake things that supposedly fly in the sky. A slash birds aren't real. Water. Nestle will remember that. Clean water. Medication, especially anything required for survival. No reason I should have to choose between paying for insulin or paying for food slash shelter slash education. My body cannot produce it on its own, and I have no choice but to buy it. If you lived in the UK it would be free and as a diabetic all other prescriptions would be free too. I'm amazed there isn't more of a movement to demand change in the US. I mean, it shouldn't be free. But it shouldn't cost 5000% more than its production cost. At this point it shouldn't cost more than a dollar a day at most. Mental health support. The fact that you need to pay someone to listen to you really shows how fucked the world is. I'm not disagreeing with you but how does the mental health professional earn money in your model? Speech. Say this in the wrong sub and you'll catch hundreds of down votes. Even though you would be contributing to discussion and people would be using the button as a dislike button, not the purpose, nothing is ever done about it. Reddit is not generally a fan of that, these days. Glasses and lenses. I'd settle for a place around here that doesn't get so pissy about giving out your prescription when you actually pay for an examination. Yes, even when you're upfront about it, and even if you buy a pair of glasses some of them still either won't do business with you again or they give you the bare minimum which means it's missing one or two things that you can figure out on your own but you shouldn't need to. So now I have to drive an hour plus if I want to get someone that doesn't treat me like I'm a thief. I came here to say this.
It's not my fault I need glasses, why do I have to pay ridiculous amounts of money to get the corrective lenses I need to see? Tampons slash pads. We as women don't choose to have a period and painful cramps once a month. Scotland did this. I agree 100%. I'm a guy, but I've always thought that an essential feminine hygiene product should not cost money. Technically there is an alternative, but this isn't the 1600s. Government identification. Drug testing criminal record checks. How often have I heard the need for IDs for voting? Okay, let us create a national ID, required for all Americans. But then how would Republicans disenfranchise minority voters? Calling off a marriage. Unfortunately all marriages are a three-way relationship with the government so they have the final say, primarily money. Because marriages are a legal union and thus it needed the law to exist. You can always have a free unofficial marriage, which would be free to cancel any time. It just wouldn't mean anything, legally speaking. Me and my girlfriend wanted to go hiking at Enchanted Rock a couple weeks ago. It was closed. How tf do you close a rock? So then we were like that's okay, well just come tomorrow, well turns out we need to make a reservation. A reservation for a rock? But we couldn't make the reservations without first making an account. So we made an account for the rock. A fucking rock. Then at the end of all of it it ask for payment method for our passes. I should be able to enjoy nature for free god admit. At my convenience. Slash rant. Well, if it makes you feel better, the nature you're talking about has a rather significant price of upkeep and maintenance, all of which could go to waste if too many people walk on it. Hence, the reservation and need for passes. I completely understand how nonsensical it seems to have to pay to walk outdoors, but consider this, it was closed. How tf do you close a rock? Enchanted Rock is owned by the state of Texas. If someone went for a hike at night or in rough weather and injured themselves as a result, they could potentially sue the state. By closing the park, the state is covering itself from this kind of scenario. It turns out we need to make a reservation. A reservation for a rock? Around 250,000 people visit Enchanted Rock each year, making it one of the most popular parks in the USA. Overcrowded trails lead to a higher risk of accidents. I can understand why they'd want to control the amount of people visiting at any one time. So we made an account for the rock. A fucking rock. The account isn't just for the rock, it's for Texas Parks and Wildlife, which included 89 parks in total. I suppose it just makes it easier to manage your park passes online. Then at the end of all of it it asks for payment method for our passes. Parks and trails require maintenance, especially with so many people visiting. Trails get washed out, trees fall, people vandalize, etc. I don't mean to shit on your rant, but you're talking about a very popular tourist attraction. If you're looking for a free hike, it might be worth it to ask around about some lesser known trails that are maintained by volunteers. Things you would actually die without. Ball fondling. Water healthcare hospital parking higher education. Water is a limited resource. I'm all in favor of making small amounts of clean drinking water free, but once you get into irrigation quantities, pay up. That's either pure luxury or profit making water. Water's free. Clean purified water isn't. Water. Free the boobies. Say yes to masks and no to bras. Protect the city, free the titty. Ah yes. The blue-footed boobies have been held captive in aviaries far too long. Water. Add less TV. We get it McDonald's, you exist. There is no need to remind us every 15 minutes when watching a show. I don't think free, but I know I'm not paying for TV and still getting damn ads. A long time ago subscription-based TV was ad-free. Now, we literally pay for our ads, as well as suffer through them. Sterilization. Education and healthcare. 
your lawyer if you're accused of something and deemed not guilty. If you're deemed not guilty, your lawyer did their job properly. So who pays the lawyers for doing the job of helping you be found not guilty? This would simply encourage them not to do such a good job surely? I know this is small, but I hate toll roads. If I already pay taxes etc, why is the government charging me for driving on an interstate or federal highway? In a lot of cases, they aren't. Some toll roads are leased to corporations that collect the tolls. Because gas taxes and registration fees and whatnot are only covering about half the cost to build and maintain them. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.